Is it really possible for somebody who has never driven a motorbike before drive one in Bali? As I just told you, I really am a beginner. Join us to find out the answer to that very question as we venture into the Bali jungle searching for some amazing waterfalls. Here is a motorbike tour for beginners. Okay, so today is a really exciting day because today we're going on a self-guided motorbike tour. There's Meg, getting ready to go. Now, we are coming at this from the angle of complete novices and beginners on the motorbike. We've had how many days of practice, Meg? Since Monday, and it is Saturday. We've had about four days of practice, probably accumulating only a few miles on the motorbike. So. We're coming at this from the angle that if we can do this motorbike tour, you can definitely do this motorbike tour. Just with a couple days of motorbike practice, um, you should be totally fine and good to go. So we're gonna bring you along on our, on our journey today, hopefully finding a couple waterfalls, hopefully getting a little bit more comfortable on the motorbike, and hopefully just giving you guys a route that's gonna be great for people that are beginners on the motorbike here in Bali, which, may seem impossible but we're gonna see if we can do it safety first <laughs> the number of times i hit ian's helmet when we're riding <laughs> Alright, we're making our first little pit stop so far. It is absolutely amazing. I'm sure you can't take me seriously with this helmet on. But Meg, how's it been so far? It's been great. A lot less uh, busy than when we're in Chenggu, so I'm excited about yeah, that. Yeah, honestly, it took only about 10 minutes to get outside of Chenggu, and we were already feeling way more confident on the bike. Anyway, the views are insane already. I'm gonna get my drone up right now and I'm gonna show you what we've been looking at. Pretty cool, right? Onward with our bike journey. Here we go. Okay, so we made our first official stop, which is at a waterfall. It took us about two hours to get here, which this waterfall we're at is called Leaky Leaky. It has a 50,000 IDR entrance fee, which isn't too bad. Most of these waterfalls do, but obviously a beautiful drive and we're excited to see our first waterfall. Wow, there's no one here. We made it, leaky, leaky waterfall. There's two other people here. The first thing that stands out about this waterfall is the growth of greenery surrounding it. It is so cool. It just, the color looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's get a little bit closer. OK, 
Okay, review on Leaky Leaky. I feel like I say every single waterfall is beautiful, so all I'm gonna say is it is worth your time. For sure it's worth your time. I'm not gonna pump it up anymore. Just come see it. It's worth it. Oh, happy guy, hopefully. On to the next one. Next waterfall, here we come. Okay, we just arrived at our second waterfall. It's called Nung Nung. I think I might be saying that completely wrong so my apologies but we are just informed that there's like 400 some steps to get down to this waterfall as you can see we're already starting them off but what we've heard about this waterfall is it's a little quite a bit, actually not a little different quite a bit different than leaky leaky what we just saw so very very curious I also forgot to mention that there was an entry fee for this one as well it was like 42,000 so it's actually quite a bit cheaper than the last one. 42 for both of us, whereas the last one was 50 per person. So quite a bit cheaper. I wonder how they like pick their prices here. I don't, yeah, so maybe it was 20 a person for this one and then 2000 to park our, our bike. Anyway, a lot cheaper than the last one. I don't know how they decide whether they charge or not, but anyway, still very cheap. You can just feel the ground like shake. I like the little guy. <laughs> I can't say this enough. Another beauty. Nung Nung. You're impressive. What's crazy about these Bali waterfalls is you would think with how busy Bali is, these places would be way more busy. We're here on a Saturday and at both waterfalls, we've been one of like five people. There's just like nobody here. It's crazy. Wild. It's wild and amazing because you can really, really enjoy it. All right, we're having a little snack here at this waterfall. Meg, what is your thoughts on Nung Nung Waterfall? I think it's really beautiful. It's powerful and it's tall, it's cool. The other Leaky Leaky was a little bit skinnier. Which one would you rather come to? If you could only come to one, which one? Leaky Leaky or Nung Nung? Nung Nung, for I, sure. I agree, I think I would come to Nung Nung. Also, it looks like you can swim here, and I'm sad. I wish we would have planned for that because I would have loved to get in the water. Yeah, we didn't bring our swimming suits, but you heard it from Meg, Nung Nung over Le Leaky Leaky, but they're both great, obviously. I mean, the drive, the drive itself between the two, like, just do both. Yeah, do you gotta both. do both, I guess. We are making our way back up the mountain of stairs, but we're pausing for a second. So, I figured, for the purpose of this video being that I'm coming at it from a, a novice motorbiker or a beginner, I should give you my motorbike resume. So that way you can trust what I had to say when I mean I am a true beginner. So my resume, prior to coming to Bali or Indonesia, I had never driven a motorbike. When we got here, I took one lesson. It was two hours in length. I'll link it below. It was very, very helpful to go over basic skills and kind of rules of the road even though they don't really have any um very very helpful then after that i took a couple weeks break and since then i've been driving like short distances for like four days so you can trust me when i say i'm a very 
very new motorbiker. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the conditions of our drive so far. So we went to two waterfalls and the conditions of the road in general have been very, very good, especially once you get out of Changu, the traffic is much less and the roads are in really good condition. Now, once you get closer to the waterfalls, the roads get a little bit more difficult as far as like steep and a little bit kind of rough. But if you just, yeah, windy. If you just take it slow, you're totally fine. And if you're carrying somebody on the back of the bike, like Meg is today, um, there might be certain points when you just need to kind of like have the person get off so you can get through the potholes. But to be completely honest, it's very, very doable. And I'm not just saying that because as I just told you, I really am a beginner. made it back safe and sound. I got major slicked back helmet here. We are definitely both a little bit tired, but anyhow, Meg, what did you think of my driving? I thought you did great. I liked definitely the roads where there was less people. When it gets congested, it's just like, ooh, 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 on the back. And it's like weird to hang on and like we knock heads, but that's I will okay. Say, I'll say this, I'm probably not the most efficient or balanced, but once you get further away from Changu, the roads are awesome. I'll make sure that our route is very clear, either like in frame here. So that way, if you're looking for um, a great beginner's route, anyway, hopefully this gave, gave you some confidence as maybe a first time motorbiker or maybe just a beginner motorbiker to hop on that bike and really kind of unlock a whole new level of Bali and just maybe Indonesia in general. Um, the motorbike really does give you a lot more freedom and flexibility. So hopefully this video gives you the confidence that even if you're a beginner, you can make it happen and you should, you should make it happen. It was well worth it. Oh, and yeah. we're super happy that we, we got over our fears to rent a motorbike and do it. Very affordable and overall just a great time. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed Enjoyed, and we will see you in the next adventure. I'm not allowed to go up there. My house is that.